Dear colleagues, uh, welcome to my presentation about the uh, authoring negotiation content and programming simulated patients. My name is Olga Petrokova and I'm presenting the collaborative work uh, performed together with uh, Feroza Sharifulayeva and Dietrich Krakow at Saarland University. Here's the outline of my presentation. After a brief introduction stating the research goals and uh, summarizing some starting points, uh, uh, and uh, discussing the related work concerning the authoring dialogue exchanges, I present the design uh, specifying the use case, the scenarios and the content and logic of interaction, in our case, the negotiation content and logics. Uh, subsequently, I uh, discuss and present the uh, simulated patients or cognitive uh, agents who play the role of simulated pa patients uh, uh, the, uh, show how the knowledge of such patients is also and encoded uh, how the memory is working and how the uh, decision making in our case shared decision making is simulated uh, after i um, uh, specify or uh, illustrate how we can use uh, the design tools for data collection uh, experiments and uh, for shifts to different uh, negotiation domain. I conclude my presentation uh, with uh, some uh, summarizing findings uh, or major points and outlining the future uh, research directions. So uh, data nowadays, as we all know, plays an important role uh, in designing of many modern uh, uh, AI applications uh, and it's highly desirable uh, to uh, have it also for dialogue system design and it's uh, actually uh, used uh, to design dialogue systems. Ideally, we would like to have authentic interactions. However, authentic interactions are not always uh, possible to record the authentic sites and um, players, major players in these sites or participants are not uh, always accessible. So for some domains like uh, medical domains or military domains, there is uh, not always possible to record uh, a sufficient amount of authentic data for privacy or security reasons. Uh, moreover, um, in some research fields, it's not even desirable because uh, the experimental control that is required to answer uh, research questions and test hypotheses uh, requires also the a certain restriction uh, on investigation uh, to investigate certain control set of uh, communicative actions while uh, paying uh, ignoring or not paying uh, attention to unrelated phenomena uh, for example, in medical communication or medical education uh, to practice medical uh, communication skill, uh, the um, medical professionals, medical students uh, often use simulated patients. As a simulated patients, they invite uh, human actors uh, who place uh, different uh, patient roles with different diagnoses and attitudes. Uh, these settings and simulation are uh, high fidelity uh, simulations but are uh, also of high cost and poor accessible for research purposes. Um, the medical professional are especially reluctant to share the data for the, for the reasons I already explained. Uh, alternatively, artificial agents can be used uh, to uh, play the role of the patient, to simulate the patient behavior. Uh, their fidelity is rather questionable because it all depends on the quality of such an agent, uh, but the solutions are cost-effective and accessible for many uh, research uh, purposes and research goals to efficiently test 
uh, several hypotheses. So the artificial cognitive agents uh, were successfully used in many domains like problem solving to study memory, attention, task switching, uh, decision making to train uh, many human skills. Even a simple agent, as I will show later, can uh, ash proven to exhibit complex uh, behavioral patterns. However, uh, the cognitive agent presents rather complex research objects and may be difficult to uh, be designed by non-expert. A non-expert in this case, I mean the domain expert and users who may lack uh, technical skills or software development skills, but they all, more importantly, they, act, uh, they lack the knowledge of human computer interaction or dialogue modeling or social cognition or social interaction. HCI uh, and AI experts however, will often uh, lack uh, domain knowledge. We as a dialogue system designers cannot always rely on our intuition how the interaction may look like in complex uh, settings and domains like medicine or military domain to learn from data it's not always possible because uh, there is none or almost uh, negligible amount of data available uh, to do something sensible with it. So therefore we invested uh, in design of nurturing tools uh, that can be used by a medical professional uh, to program interactive cognitive agents in the role of simulated uh, patients. So we uh, all know uh, and we all have in our disposal as a dialogue uh, system designers uh, a range of tools uh, that can be used to collect data or to design dialogue system. Uh, within almost every dialogue modeling approach uh, known so far, uh, there are uh, tools available. To use them, however, uh, by non-expert is uh, quite problematic because uh, it requires a uh, substantial uh, um, level of knowledge and substantial level of uh, software development skills. Interesting uh, that uh, some uh, authoring tools were developed for uh, non-expert users, for teachers, for example, or for gamers to design natural language uh, dialogues, to author natural language dialogues using uh, different approaches, mostly the approach based on a uh, collection or database of some uh, dialogues, uh, or short dialogues or sh uh, uh, from which uh, complex uh, interaction or complex story uh, lines can be uh, mm, uh, designed. In games, uh, the most uh, influential or most widely used approach to design so-called multi-branching dialogues are trees or uh, directed graphs. Uh, this approach, however, presupposes that interaction follows some linear chronological order of actions. And we know that re many real-life situations involve dynamic and non-sequential, uh, not linear uh, dialogues. The strict directionality disappears, for example, in negotiations uh, where the parties can uh, make tentative agreement, can break an agreement, can uh, break the interaction and resume interaction, renegotiate some options. Mm. So in such case, uh, rather uh, dynamic, uh, to th the tool is needed to support uh, the dynamic interactions. So, uh, and we uh, design uh, the authoring tool for non-expert users, for the main experts to, uh, without losing time on much and much programming efforts to also uh, interactions with their patients in this case. So our domain uh, concerns medical encounters and more specifically uh, training medical professionals and students to communicate with their patients. 
And such interactions often involve negotiations. Negotiations between uh, what the doctor think uh, is th in the best interest of patient to do and the patient's daily experience. So the professional doctor's view on patient uh, best interest and patient autonomy and adherence. So willingness and ability to accept or to adhere to uh, treatment uh, proposed by the doctor. Our model is based on health belief model uh, by proposed by Beckett and Maiman and also uh, incorporates the prediction of theory of planned behavior and social learning theory. Uh, in accounts for beliefs uh, about the perceived importance and desires concerning certain behavior and outcomes, uh, attitudes, and about patient beliefs about his ability to perform um, these behaviors so it's called self-efficacy beliefs and of course the uh, beliefs of the same kind about the partner so a part a partner a perce perception of importance uh, desire uh, uh, and uh, about the partner's abilities to perform these actions uh, now we come to uh, authoring uh, the actual content. So the profession, medical professional get the uh, template uh, to author in issues to be negotiated and options to be negotiated. They can set the preferences, how import, they think important, desirable and visible several options are. They can also search um, preferences for themselves and for their patient or they have a possibility to uh, for the system to automatically generate different prof patient profiles and also uh, profiles for the uh, doctors. And here uh, we have uh, uh, more details uh, how it it can be done and what is relied on. So the, our use case involves the consultation or the uh, discussion, uh, therapy discussion uh, about the doctor and diabetic person. So we ask the uh, medical professional to specify the m most important four issues and uh, op uh, most important option to be discussed with the patient, uh, convincing them to change uh, their behavior in order to improve their quality of life. So it concerns medicine, nutrition, activity and exercising. Uh, this reflecting the asymmetries uh, of uh, patient-doctor uh, negotiations and uh, in encounters in general because due to imbalance in knowledge and relationship between interlocutors and the complexity of different scenarios. So we have a doctor and a patient who may have conflicting preferences uh, the polarity of the preferences is different and the strengths of the uh, beliefs is different. Uh, then we have a matching preferences where the polarity is identical in this example uh, negative but the strengths of beliefs is uh, of the uh, desirable preferences is uh, different. Uh, the negotiation not the always involve preferences of uh, different participants that are conflicting. Some preferences may overlap or even be identical in this case. And as you can imagine, negotiation between the partners who has conflicting preferences are uh, much uh, harder to reach agreement uh, and uh, with identical preferences is uh, easier to reach an agreement uh, which are mutually acceptable by both partners. Uh, the action that both partners can take mainly concern the negotiation moves offers and exchanges and concessions and withdraw and making deals, uh, the state, uh, state uh, expression of preferences and ability and necessity and possibility of such actions uh, concerning the semantic content of the action. Are they talking about the therapeutic regime, medicine or lifestyle? They also involve some uh, task focused actions like requesting uh, information about the preferences, 
uh, informing about the preferences, the agreement uh, uh, with, uh, pat between participants, uh, suggesting and promising. There are two other dimensions that are not implemented yet to full extent in our interface. These are the social-emotional exchange and the global affect. Uh, categories. Um, the taxonomy is relies on ISO Dialogue Act uh, standard taxonomy, uh, which is enriched in uh, our case with uh, RIAS, so Rotor uh, Interaction Analysis System categories, designed uh, for medical consultation, for analysis and uh, quality assessment of medical interviews, and is applicable uh, it's widely used uh, and applicable to many uh, medical domains. Uh, so the actions are incorporated in the interface, uh, as uh, you, you could see, so the both players or both parties can make a request about the preferences of each other, they can inform about the preferences, they can propose some actions uh, or offers, make offers, counter offers and trade offs. Uh, they uh, respond to offers uh, by accepting, rejecting or considering and also expressing attitudes toward the uh, offered options. And they uh, make close uh, interaction by stating deals, breaking down negotiation, making final offers uh, playing take or leave strategies. Uh, these all actions are generated uh, using template-based approach uh, in natural language utterances and also the uh, agent uh, attitude towards the negotiation strategies used by the partner is expressed by emotions. So the agent is happy when the partner is playing cooperatively, so accepting the uh, suggestion made by the agent and he is uh, getting angry or it is getting angry uh, if uh, the, it, it thinks the partner is playing aggressively. So it's about the negotiation space where partners have uh, hold the preferences for certain actions and think uh, the, and have also the um, mental image of the preferences of uh, the other partner which do not correspond uh, of course they may have some uh, um, differences in uh, beliefs about uh, other attitudes and uh, self-efficacy and partners uh, goal is to find out the, about the preferences of each other and to to uh, find the best uh, possible mutual agreement, ideally uh, which is Pareto efficient. If the partner play cooperative, that leads uh, to negotiations that are uh, short and uh, have a better outcomes, the uh, better quality deals. And if the partner play uh, competitively, uh, this negotiation rather uh, tedious and uh, longer, it takes longer the partner to, to get uh, to the agreement and often uh, the agreement is not uh, Pareto efficient. The agent knowledge is encoded in instances and or chunks or experiences uh, that uh, contains or uh, information about the beliefs uh, of each uh, of the agent, about the strategies used, about the moves and the values of the moves for each of the participant, uh, the estimation what the uh, uh, next move should be a uh, prediction uh, expectation of the next move of the partner and uh, uh, the estimation of the shared and personal utilities uh, reached so far and uh, values for the compensation. Uh, so these um, instances 
are stored uh, in uh, human-like memory uh, and they are retrieved on the basis of activation function uh, which are working on the principle of the most frequently used and most uh, recently used uh, uh, instance uh, should be retrieved first. Uh, they also most similar in uh, instances should be retrieved uh, for to to generate the next move, and uh, or uh, some uh, pattern matching rules are used uh, to match uh, the uh, instances stored in production memory. Um, we designed uh, three human decision or core human decision making strategies observed uh, them frequently in uh, literature. So uh, one is based on uh, recognition or activation best retrieval. So as I already mentioned, the most recent instance and the most frequent instance is retrieved. You you can also have a uh, compound function that is retrieved most, uh, most recent, frequent and similar instance uh, based using activation mechanism. Um, what is good is also not all instances are complete and fully uh, filled, populated with all the information necessary to make a decision. So the partial uh, matching is uh, enabled and the blending mechanism is implemented that uh, used uh, a set of instances uh, to generate uh, the decision. Uh, the next uh, strategy is compensatory model based on weighted additive rules. It basically relies on the uh, estimation of the agent uh, for the uh, losses and gains uh, of each uh, move uh, and uh, actions uh, performed so far. And if the agent is thinking that it loses too much, it shifts the strategy and tries to compensate for the losses. The non-compensatory heuristics are uh, used very frequently uh, as uh, shortcuts uh, for in situation where uh, so-called unfavorable environments or uh, uh, where the time pressure, uh, where the page, uh, the partners are working under time pressure or physical exhaustion or uh, tired or distracted. We implemented the take the best strategy in uh, our uh, in our agent performance. So uh, basically there are three strategies and the human trainee can uh, select using the tool uh, one of the strategy uh, that it wish to practice. Uh, it also uh, selects the agent uh, it wills to communicate with, uh, uh, ranging from, you can have a random option, but also conflicting matching and overlapping strategy. And um, matching coordination strategy, it means that the agent will mimic uh, or imitate the behavior of the uh, partner, so playing cooperatively if the partner is playing cooperatively and if it believes that the partner is playing aggressively going to uh, competitive mode. Uh, it also played the compensatory strategy, so it estimates uh, its shared and personal utility at each stage of interaction and uh, tries uh, to uh, compensate for its losses if the certain threshold, which is also can be set by the tool, uh, is reached uh, and uh, going again to cooperative board if it thinks that uh, it it's comfortable with the points it's already uh, reached. And the non compensatory strategy based on heuristics where uh, the agent selects the most important issue uh, for himself uh, for, uh, and uh, the most important options and sticks to this option showing the position bargaining with the hope that the uh, partner concede or uh, 
often uh, this strategy leads to the breakdown the negotiation uh, using the tool we collected uh, the data in human human and human agent setting in human human setting the players had only the preferences card without the full functionality of interface and they are freely to use any uh, communicative action to negotiate uh, with each other and uh, they have no time restriction whatsoever in a human agent setting where the human plays uh, with the agent using the interface just presented to you. So what can be noticed here that uh, we can easily collect a sufficient amount of data using human agent setting quite quickly, uh, cost effectively and also these uh, dialogues are already annotated and does not require additional analysis while the human human dialogue uh, requires the 25 minutes of annotation time per minute of human human dialogues but uh, the human agent dialogues uh, are not so rich in behavior as human human dialogues so it can be seen in the number of unique dialogue acts uh, observed in such a dialogue and also the vocabulary size uh, is uh, uh, rather um, restricted so uh, used to generate the uh, natural language utterances but if you look at the outcome of negotiations so we do not see significantly a uh, large difference between uh, human human and human agent settings so in number of agreements reached and Pareto efficiency uh, however uh, large differences are observed in uh, cooperativeness rates uh, meaning that uh, human uh, tend to play more competitively against each other but uh, play uh, cooperate with the agent or are encouraged by the agent to cooperate uh, more. Uh, as you can imagine that uh, the, the tool can be used uh, to uh, also any other uh, domain uh, if you stay uh, within negotiation setting. So we ask our medical professional to uh, also uh, another use case, in this case for the medical consultation trying to persuade their patient to cease smoking, to undertake some actions in this direction. Uh, what we can conclude uh, from our um, development and uh, study uh, that the agent can be used as a plausible simulation of human decision making and negotiation performance. The tools uh, can be used for many negotiation domains, of course, maybe with some adjustments and they present the cost-effective solution for the data collection but also for the study of social uh, interaction and social cognition where some parameters um, agent characteristic can be changed and other left intact and uh, in this case uh, the impact of uh, each factors in isolation and in combination can be tested uh, in on the uh, negotiation outcomes. So uh, social scientists like social psychologists, uh, for example, can test uh, their uh, hypothesis and answer their research question quite effectively. In the future, we obviously, as I pointed out, want to enrich uh, the behavior of the agent. So multimodal behavior and account for emotional, social and cultural uh, variables, but also to want to implement adaptive decision making uh, strategies that the agent uh, does not only play pure dis uh, matching coordination or compensatory strategy but can switch between adaptively between these uh, three strategies or maybe even uh, more other uh, strategies can be defined and implemented and finally we want to situate our agents uh, within social environments in, in multi-agent setting and we are currently implementing the game which simulates emergency rooms uh, where the agents and the players are uh, 
confronting together uh, and solve uh, some negotiation problems. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.